everyone and welcome back to Shades of Sasha. If you're new, take a seat, put your crown on, and welcome to the gang. And let's just enjoy this video because I have a talk through of basically how I achieved this look. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. So I did purchase my unit again from Here So Fly and I know before I always tell you guys about the packaging when they ship it to you, it's just here's your product. And so I wanted to do the unboxing of it to show you what I meant. Pretty much it just came in a bag and it was just the bag and the product. <laughs> so pretty much this is, this is her. So she has three combs and an adjustable strap and then the frontal customization of the unit. So I'm gonna go in with the infallible fresh wear and I forgot what shade this is, but I'll link it below. And I'm just gonna press it in because I want my install to look as seamless as possible. So I would suggest using a brown cap. I think it's going to remove an excessive amount of work versus just using a nude cap and then trying to turn it brown. I just always opt to go with a brown cap. So I'm gonna put my hair back and I'm just trying to measure and see what it's gonna look like and how much of the lace I need to cut and then I'm just gonna jump right in with the bold hole because since I want to do a half up half down I'm going to just glue her down I'm not going to spray her down I'm going to glue her down because I wanted it to be as close to perfection as it possibly can so I'm just going to only do one layer I'm not gonna double layer this and I'm just gonna have it dry down and I'm leaving the side tabs for until later on because I feel like it's going to be um, seamless for when I'm actually installing it if I just leave that for later so I'm just putting it down gently pressing it and I'm just going to wait a little bit and then I'm going to go and actually do the sides. So once I've placed it down, this is what I'm saying where I'm going to put a little bit of a layer and just make sure that I wait for it to dry. Do not try and work with the surface while it's, it's wet. I find that whenever I do that, it actually makes my installs just seem a little bit more sloppy. It's not as slim as, as you would want it to. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry down as much as it can and it's tacky. And then I just put mine down. So the method of just trying to use the fan to like rush the process is what I did right here. And I'm just going to slick it down the best I can and just brush the hair back and just I'm trying to hold down just to make the process move a little bit faster but then I'm just gonna tie my hair up to make it just lay until it's time for me to just like cut my lace so once I let the hair dry and I'm like okay this is going to work the way I want it to I'm now just going to go in and part out not only the leave out but just part out a good portion of the front because I'm going to spray the hair well the hairline with the ebon spray and then I'm going to tie the hair down again so throughout this when I was doing this I noticed I made this mistake wait for the hair spray to dry just a little bit do not try and rush to go in with tying your hair down automatically especially if you use just as much hairspray as i do because you're just gonna make it just it could be wet and tacky and you don't want that so this is what i did i just sprayed it and then i just tied it down and again i'm just waiting for everything to dry and then i'm gonna remove it and then i'm just gonna brush everything back and then i'm gonna go in and cut the lace so once you're brushing all of the hair back just to get it out the way, when you're cutting your lace, I'm going to be using two tools to do it. So I'm gonna cut with a scissor, but I'm also going in with this razor. And try to move as slow, like slow and steady really does win the race. Do not try to rush the process because you don't wanna rush something and then you have to redo it again. So I just go in and I'm trying to carve it out as much as I can and I'm not really worried right now about how messy it looks because I'm going to go in with my scissor to actually clean up all of those jagged ends that I actually want to be removed so once I'm cutting through I'm just going to see what else I need to cut 
later on and I have a trick that I'm going to do that I think if you want a perfect install and a flawless finish when it comes to installing any closure unit I suggest that you do because I definitely noticed that this is something that has really worked for me so this is what I'm talking about where I'm trying to be as perfect as possible with making sure I get all of the edges that I possibly can so I'm just going to do the same thing I did to the next on the other side to this side with using a razor and then just going in with the scissor so after you've cut your entire closure one of the tips that I suggest doing is actually going in with if you want to use a got to be spray or the ebon spray i'm gonna use the ebon spray and i'm just going to spray the tip and just press down on the closure or the frontal that's there because i want it to seep in as much as it can just all of those jagged edges everything i can just to make sure that it's laying as flat as possible and i'm just gonna go back again i'm just gonna tie my hair up wait for it to dry and then go through with styling my unit the way that I want to. So this is the curl pattern that the hair also in originally came in. I didn't do anything. As you guys see, I just took it out of the box, put it back, and that's it. So when I'm brushing it out, the feel of this hair, I really love it. I don't know why I love the way the hair feels, but it is just something that it just feels so coarse and nice and I'm just here for it. So I decided I'm going to do a half up half down and I tried doing it this way specifically first um, with my hair tie on. But for some reason it just didn't lay as flat as I wanted it to. And I decided to use rubber bands as well because I feel like it would help stretch or just tighten as much as I would want to so that's basically the route that I went and I tried to do it here and for some reason it just was not working out like after I took the head band off to I was like you know what this is not it's just not given like what it's not given so I decided to just go ahead and fix my edges first and then I was like you know I'm gonna try again later on and just see what that looks like so this is how she looks after I took it off and I'm just going to try again with the half up half down method without the headband on and then I'm going to tie my hair again later on. So this is the hair if you took it out and like I just flipped it or whatever this is what it would look like and I really do love the way it looks like it just it just looks so beautiful the baby hair that comes with the unit it's just everything was just really really nice when it came to installing this unit so I looked at it this way and I really do love how it looked but I was really really adamant on getting my half up half down so if you flip it whichever way i just wanted to show you guys what that would look like and then i'm like you know what i'm gonna try this again because it has to work so i decided to do the half up half down without having a scarf on my edges just to see if it would lay as seamlessly as i possibly can and what i would say is make sure that you grab hold of the hair as tight as you possibly can while or before you're actually putting the rubber band or a scrunchie on and just make sure you're taking the time to comb through and comb up all of the hair that you possibly want to hold while doing this method. This is the final look. I did my makeup off camera. If you want a deep dive of a review, I'll link my video below of the one that I did in 613. But 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend. If I got it in two colors, then y'all know you girl loved it. And look at the scalp, she's melted. So we love to see it. Definitely, like I said, I recommend. I think she, she just comes to slay and that's it. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much just for supporting me and I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day.